Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your name tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you so much, Lord God. We, Hallelujah. I just don't want to leave this in praise, Lord Jesus. I just love you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being our all in all, Lord. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord God. We just, yes, Lord. We just praise your name and glorify your name, Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise your name, Lord God. Praise your name, Lord Jesus. We just give you praise in this place tonight, Lord God. Praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord God. Yes. 
Psalm 51. It says this, it says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according unto the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Yes. Amen. Tonight, we have to get to that desperation point. Amen. We've got to get to that point where we're just saying, you know what, Lord? I realize that I've sinned against you. I realize that I am not perfect and I'm not in the place that you want me to be. Amen. I realize that even though I may have been saved for 20 years, I'm not in the place where you want me to be yet. Amen. And we just have to cry out, Lord, cleanse me. Lord, cleanse me, make me pure, make me holy, amen? Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Yes. Against you and you only have I sinned and none is evil in your sight that you mightest be judged when you speakest and be clear when you judgest, amen? Yes, Lord. Against thee and thee only have I sinned. And this is, if you look in your Bibles, right above verse 1 of Psalm 51, you'll find the heading. And in the heading it talks about how this psalm was written by David just after his adultery with Bathsheba had been discovered. Amen. After Nathan the prophet had come to him and said, you are the man who has sinned against God. Amen. And he began to cry out, Lord, against you and you only. Yes, Lord. Amen. Whenever we sin, whenever we miss the mark, whenever we fall short, it's only against Christ because of, amen, because we are not our own, amen. That's right. This body is not our own. This, this temple we have here is not our own. And when we sin, even if it's a secret sin, a sin against ourselves, the Bible calls it, a sin against a man's own body, even that is a direct assault on God himself because we are not our own. We are his. Amen. All right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. How many in here yes, can say yes, that we've yes. fully arrived at wisdom yet? <laughs> how many in here can, can say that, that we are, how, how many in here can say that we are totally true in our inward parts? Amen? Right. How many of us can say that? No, but that, that must be our cry. We've got to be crying out to God, Lord, cleanse me. Lord, give me wisdom to be able to follow you. Lord, make me true in my inward parts. Because that is not, that is not what I have desired on my own, but that's what you desire, Lord. And it's not my will, but yours be done. Amen. Amen. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, in the hidden parts shall thou and thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Yes, Lord. Create in me, listen y'all, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. It didn't say make a right spirit within me, but renew, amen? That word renew speaks of what's having been in that position, amen? It means, Lord, take me back to the place that you want me to be at, amen? A renewal right spirit within me. Have your way, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cast me all not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. 
No, I've, I've heard that quoted that way many times. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. But no, it says restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Your salvation, Lord God. It's not mine. It's not me who does the saving. It's not me who is, is able to claim my salvation. But rather it's God himself. It is Jesus Christ who gives us our salvation. Amen. It is his salvation, not ours. Amen. We are not our own. Amen. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Hallelujah. Then will I teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted unto you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open now my lips and my mouth shall show forth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would give it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Amen. A broken and contrite heart, O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Yes. Amen. Psalm 19, verse 12. Verses 12 and 13, it says, who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Amen. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Amen. Amen. Secret. What does that mean? That means hidden, right? That means uh, only a few people know about it, right? Sometimes there are things in our lives. The Bible says that we don't even, we, sometimes we don't even know our own hearts. Amen. Sometimes there are things in our lives that are wrong. That, there's things that we're doing that are wrong and we don't even realize it. Amen? We don't even realize that what we're doing is wrong. And that's why God says, cleanse me from secret sins. Amen? Cleanse me from the things that I don't even know what to ask you for. Lord, lead me into your truth. Amen? That's right. Amen. We need to ask God to cleanse us from our secret sins. Amen? Amen. Cleanse us. I, I, uh, read, I'm, I read this verse because if I talk about cleansing, about God needing to cleanse us, many times people will say, you know what, that's a good message, but that, that, that has nothing, no bearing on me, amen? But how many knows each and every one of us have to be cleansed by God anew, amen? We, 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 we need a, 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 a new clean spirit, not just resting on being filled with the Holy Spirit however many years ago. Amen? It's not about resting on what was done in your life. It's about resting on what God is doing today in your life. Amen? Amen. 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 Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous or that can also be translated as deliberate Sins, amen. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous or deliberate sins. Let them not have dominion over me, amen. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. Bless Lord. Yes, Lord. We cannot just believe that, you know what, since I've been saved for so long, then I'm pretty much safe from willfully sinning against God. That's not true, amen. Right. That's not true. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself, but. We cannot, we cannot live holy, amen, we cannot live holy lives in our own power, amen, we cannot live holy on our own, amen. First John verses, uh, I'm sorry, First John 1 verses 8 and 9, it says that if we say that we have no sin, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen? Amen. If we confess our sins, he is faithful to cleanse us. Amen? Amen. Amen. He is faithful. The Bible was not written to sinners. Amen? This was written to 
primarily to those who are trying to seek after God. And it's saying here that if we say that we're perfect, if we say that all our own, we're all good, we're, we're, we're just hunky-dory and we, we can make it into heaven on our own, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. The Bible says that Jesus calls himself the way, the truth, and the life. If we claim that we are perfect and that we are not in need of Christ's blood at any more than one-time thing, that we don't need to fall on our faces before God anymore, that we're not dependent on Christ anymore. If we claim that, then the truth is not in us. We don't have Christ inside of us. Amen. We are not saved. Amen. Not right now. If we claim that we can do it on our own, there's no way that we can be saved. Amen. We're denying Christ. Amen. So, really quickly, I just... I just want to get out of here really quickly. Uh, talk, talking about that the, the we need God to cleanse us. Amen. But first, first before we can be cleansed, we need to know how to be cleansed. Amen. All right, all right, all right. All right. We need to know how to be cleansed. The Bible says that all righteousness is as filthy rags. Amen. That's right. That's right. You probably heard. The term surrender, amen. But how many of us know what it means? To surrender effectually means if if there is a war going on and one country surrenders to another country, what are they doing? They're saying, we give up fighting, amen. We give up. That's right, that's right. God wants us to surrender our all to him. 